nice group of running age F1 Brayford cows. Real nice brangy sired calves. Well, these calves weigh three something, anyway, four? Four, yeah, I thought so too. Four and a pound. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you're right. Calves average about 400, 425 pounds. We went with the Charley Bulls, Thomas Charley Bulls, since March. Sure enough, we're getting some, sure enough, nice Brangus calf last year. They had Brangus bulls with these girls. And they have, obviously, Thomas Charley bulls and Charley calves next year. Good natured cattle and excellent flesh. One, yeah, one Charlotte gift in here. The rest are all Brangus's. Again, they're in a really good flesh, so I would feel all these cattle will be three and ones. Some of these heifer cats are definitely replacement quality. So if someone buys these cattle, wants to uh, retain the heifers, wean them and develop them and have them. A broker like myself resell these. Uh, these heifers are definitely replacement quality. Basically, quarter bloods. So uh, actually, Brangus actually even better. They're Brangus bulls. As F ones, always easy sell. Good running age again. Brangus uh, F one Brayford pairs. Nice black calves, run back Charlie Bulls. Again, these calves probably weigh about four, 425. Some of these calves weigh over five now. Big stout group of nice ranching cows. There's like 25 in the deal. Man managed nice calves, aren't they? different part of the pasture. Again, like I said, most of these Brayfords have the Charlotte calves. There's 25 of these Brayfords. Again, they're all, he raised them all. His Brahma cows and her for bulls. They said most of the Brayfords hang out together, so obviously they do. We're in the San Antonio, Texas area, in the San Antonio, Texas area. Hmm. That Brayford had a Brangus kiss, a nice Brangus kiss. And they're all running back with uh, really stout Brangus bulls. So next year, all these girls are having black calves. Nature cattle. Four year old tiger stripe cow. Got 25 of these F1s and 70 some of these Brangus Brangus Baldies. All one raisin. Good ranch cows. Here, yeah, look at here. What did Clay find? Can you say top shelf, ladies, or what? Most of these girls are home raised. Charlotte and Brangus calves, Tom and Charlotte bulls, um, yearling, two year old bulls working these girls right now. Whoo, good mamas, aren't they? Home, most of all these are home raised out of Brahmin cows and Hereford bulls. They're all year brand. Most of these girls are kind of three to, these are all three to five, aren't they? Yeah. 
got 60 pairs this past 60 pairs. The rancher has another, he probably has 150 of these pairs, these F1 pairs, and he's got some brangish pairs as well. What are these calves worth this fall? Woo! You tell me, you tell me. Exposed back some power again. Their powerful Charlotte bulls have been out since March. They're covering these girls. They're kind of really docile. Uh, this cowboy is very hands-on. He's not one of those wiki warriors that sees their cows every six months. He's a cowboy, sees these cows weekly. So they are broke to cubes, gentle cattle. Whew, look at these charlays. Mm, mm, mm. They're good, aren't they? Woo! Woo! Well, here's the last part of the video segments I took of these cattle. This rancher has about 150 is good F1 cows. He's for most part they're running back with a couple with Brangus bulls, majority of with stout Thomas Charlet bulls. All in all, these calves they ought to weigh 350 pounds. Most should be in three uh, should be three to one bred back. Again, Brangus or Charlet. Majority of these cattle are three to five years old. Majority of them are ranch raised. He has. Brahmin cows and Hereford bulls in the San Antonio, Texas area. A really good ranch. I've known him my whole life. A really good hand. The cattle are gentle, broke the cakes. Really good ranch cow that know how to raise big stout strapping calves year in, year out. Plus, he has an equally attractive group of 150 Branguses. I will also have them on YouTube.